So good morning and welcome. And for those of you from other parts of the world, good afternoon. It's great to see you here. Good evening, if it's evening for you. Um, thank you so much for being with us. This is the Love and Learn Party for virtual networkers. And virtual networkers, for those of you who aren't familiar with virtual networkers, is an organization of heart-centered entrepreneurial women supporting one another. It's truly a community of women just collaborating and connecting and helping each other to grow in life and business. So thank you so much for being here. I am so happy to see so many familiar faces and new faces here. Here as well. So we're going to get started with our introductions. Um, I'm going to ask you before we do that, just to drop your name and email into the chat box. And if you would be so kind to even um, if you're a guest, just pop in who invited you here today as well. That'd be great. Just add that to the chat file. Everybody gets a copy of the chat file when we're done. And you will also get an a, a access to the video recording as well that will be up on YouTube for all to see and share and go back to. So you'll be able to access this video um, later on. And you'll get that in an email. And that's why we ask you to put your chat, your email in the chat box. Um, so I'm going to ask those of you who are going to, we're going to go around the room and do introductions. We're going to keep it to a one sentence introduction today. Normally we do 30 second introductions, but I have a feeling this room is going to get really full really fast. Um, as it is, it's already filling up. So I'm going to ask you to do one um, sentence introductions, your name, um, and it's basically an I help statement. All right. So I am, and I'll give you an example. I'm Laura Templeton. I help professionals and entrepreneurs develop their 30 second message for networking and video. So I'm Laura Templeton with 30 Second Success. So I'm going to ask Jill and then Rachel to um, share their messages. Well, good morning or good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. I'm Jill Celeste and I'm the founder of Virtual Networkers. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jill. That was really quick. Rachel and then Connie Jo. I'm Rachel. I am a website designer for spiritual entrepreneurs. Nice. Thank you so much. Connie Jo and then Mary Beth. Hi, I'm Connie Jo Miller, and I work with solopreneurs who are ready to outsource their bookkeeping. Nice. Mary Beth and then Judy. Hi, I'm Mary Beth Decker. I am an intuitive animal communicator and healer. Nice. Judy and then Gina. Hi, I'm Judy Kane, and I help people relieve stress by rewriting subconscious self-limiting beliefs. Nice. Thank you. Gina and then Margaret. Hi, I'm Gina Ramsey. I live in beautiful Superior, Wisconsin, and I have just opened a business with my husband making, um, putting ceramic coatings on sporting gear. Interesting. All right. Margaret, and then I'm sorry, um, Grova, you'll have to help me with the spelling of your, or the pronunciation of your name. So go ahead, Margaret. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Margaret Martin from delightful Dunedin, Florida, and that's in Central Florida on the west side of Tampa Bay. I work with really awesome women to help them redesign their lives in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and those women who are healing from narcissists. Nice. Thank you. It's great to see you, Margaret. Um, Marina and then Kim. Hello. Hi. I'm Marina. Uh, thank you for, for this uh, meeting. Uh, so I, my name is Marina Zhegurova. I'm uh, the interior architect. Um, I live in Bevis. Uh, I'm 38 years old and uh, my specialization is optimization of spaces. And uh, I work only with individuals. Very That's nice. It. Welcome, Marina. It's nice to see you. Thank Kim you. and then Gabriella. Everyone, my name is Kim Stone with Live Well by Kim Stone. I help busy professionals feel less stressed and more balanced in their life by teaching them the rule of framework. Nice. Gabriella and then Mo. Hello, nice to see you ladies coming to you from my gong sanctuary uh, near London. I'm a holistic health and resilience coach and in my uh, holistic uh, approach, I also use gong and sound therapy. 
and I take you from overwhelm and brain fog to clarity and living a healthy, radiant life from the inside out. Very nice. Thank you, Gabriella. Mo and then Olivia. Hi, my name is Mo Cooper. I'm a personal trainer and healthy lifestyle strategist, and I help women get healthy and take care of themselves without it sucking. That's the idea. <laughs> Nice, thank you. And just as a reminder for those of you who are just popping on here, we're doing one sentence introductions. So um, if you, if you haven't gone yet, just think about what you want to say in one sentence. Olivia and then Hana. Okay. Hi, I'm Olivia with Web Dragon Digital Media. I help entrepreneurs. Uh, Learn to love their WordPress websites, whether it's learning how to manage their own website or build one. Very nice. Thank you, Olivia. Hannah and then Kristen. Hello, everybody. I'm Hannah Brutter. I'm a Norwegian graphic designer and teacher of graphic design. Lovely. Kristen and then Susan. Hello, I'm Kristen Toscano, quantum human design specialist and alignment coach. I help women understand and align with their unique code so they can have more fun and experience less burnout. Very nice. Thank you, Kristen. Hey, ladies, make sure that you're popping your name and your email in the chat file so that we'll have a record of that to share with everyone. Um, it's a great opportunity to connect through coffee dates once you That's have it. that list. So Susan and then Pat. Well, good morning, ladies. I'm Susan Shelton, a wellness consultant, partnering with USANA to provide the best of the best to support my clients on their wellness journey when it comes to supplementation, food products, and advanced skincare. Nice. Pat and then Nicole. Well, hi there. I'm Pat Creeden of Pat Creeden Design. I'm a graphic designer that helps you with your logo design, your web design, or your book design. Nice, thank you. Nicole and then Kate. Yes, I am Nicole and I am with Tinkerin and I am a creativity instigator and I offer unique experience that excites one's imagination, curiosity and creativity through creative reuse. Nicole with Tinkerin. Nice. Kate and then Kelly. Hi, I'm Kate Barnes, and I use human design to help women say goodbye to exhaustion and self-doubt and hello to confidence and energetic flow so they have everything they need to fulfill their life's purpose. KateBarnes.com. Thank you. Kelly and then Stacy. Good morning or afternoon. I'm Kelly Lutman with Pursue Wellness for You. I am a functional medicine health coach who helps women reverse their chronic disease without the use of medication. Very nice. Stacy and then Victoria. Hi, everybody. I am Stacy Shock with Zingify. We have a promotional products marketing company and we help our clients, such as associations. Uh, nonprofits and just regular companies uh, market themselves with the best items that'll keep their message out there. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Victoria and then Christy. Hello, Victoria van der Steen. I am um, uh, actually, I care about creating clarity on your values and intensity on your visibility. And uh, I am from Belgium. Nice. Welcome, Victoria. Christy and then Kate. Kate, lady. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, ladies. I'm Christy Crippen of Collaborative Partners. I'm a virtual administrator and I work with busy and overwhelmed small business owners and entrepreneurs so they stay productive, organized, and then they can live in their zone of genius. Thank you. Lovely. Kate Arbuckle and then Leah. Hello, and Kate. Uh, Kate from MyNaturalHappiness.com. I help amazing women shed the shackles of their past, both, both this life and previous lives, so they can step forward and shine their light so brightly in this world. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kate. And for those that are just popping in, remember that this is a, a one sentence um, introduction that we're going through and to pop your name and email into the chat file. So I think Leah's... Leah's, Leah's um associate also needs an introduction. I just wanted to interject. Go ahead, Leah. <laughs> Go ahead, Leah. 
Um, I'm Leah with Endeavor Financial Coaching. Uh, we help millennials in particular learn how to manage their money and stop and break that paycheck to paycheck cycle that we're all so stuck in. Um, and we're launching bookkeeping services now so that we can help small businesses learn how to manage their finances as well. Um, this is my youngest of three. His name is Nicholas. Huh? Hey, he's so cute. Lee and then Perdita. Hi everyone, I'm Lee Murphy Wolf and I'm a lifestyle strategist and vitality coach. And I serve heart centered entrepreneurial women who want to create more balance in their life so they have the perfect blend of life and business. Thank you. Wayne, welcome. Purdy and then Sherry. Hello, coming to you from beautiful Paris. I am the influential woman's secret weapon. And I not only help, but I champion women to their greatest success through the spoken word. Beautiful. Sherry and then Stacy. Hi, I'm Sherry Andrews, your small business attorney. I help entrepreneurial women uh, protect their empire with the appropriate legal assets. Very nice. Stacy and then Jennifer. Hi everyone, Stacy Rowan. I'm a coach for entrepreneurs and I use their human design to inform our minds that work together so they can feel confident they're growing their business in the right direction and the right, right way for them. Thank you so much, Jen and then Nancy. Hi everyone, my name is Jen and I'm your speaker today so you'll hear all about me. <laughs> Thank you. Nancy and then Kelly, oh, Kelly. I'm Nancy Linruth in Seattle. Uh, small business owners and other leaders come to me to get rid of the subconscious gunk that keeps them from making more money, being more visible, and having a bigger impact, which we do uh, by having them hit themselves, or otherwise known as EFT. <laughs> Callie and then Cindy. Is that me you meant? Yes. Okay, well, that's Kaylee, but that's Kaylee. okay. <laughs> uh, so hi, everybody. My name is Kaylee, and I am a transformational embodiment coach. And I help my clients move from their survivor mode into thriving by living a more embodied life. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Cindy and then Michelle. Hi. My name is Cindy. I'm an entrepreneurship life coach, and I work with women solopreneurs who are just initiating their business to help them to create a business that they're going to love as well as a lifestyle they will love. And I'm a teacher as well, an online teacher. So I have to leave at 1130. So when I I'm, apologize for that, but I have a student at 1130, but I wanted to come for as long as I could. Well, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And Polly, no apologies necessary. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. Michelle and then Jay Ree. Nobody then, if you speak Czech or good day to everyone. I'm Michelle with MTC LifeWorks. And as you can see, I'm reminding everybody, get your ducks in a row. And I'm having challenges with OBS this morning. <laughs> but I work with entrepreneurs to help you leverage your business to live the life that you went into entrepreneurship for. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, Jerry, is that how, am I pronouncing it right? Um, it's actually Jerry. Just Jerry. say it fast. Like, okay. the, like the jury's in or the jury is <laughs> <out. Yeah. laughs> anyway, I'm Jerry Bowers and I'm with Restored Freedom Inc. That is my company. And I'm the money girl. I teach you how to remove that tree from right in front of your face, take the fear out of money and and teach you to invest without losing a single cent while protecting your own personal life and your money from the biggest devastation which is taxes so i'm the money girl thank Jeremy you so much. thank you um did i miss anyone i know uh, my my images got shuffled i think i got everybody but i'm not we get liz from navigationvs.com she I don't see Liz. She doesn't have a feet. She's I, I think Natalie's having trouble. She keeps popping on and off. Oh, so if she okay. comes back, there's already, Liz. 
<laughs> oh, it's our Liz. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Introduce yourself. Sorry, I had trouble with my camera this morning. Um, I help um, online businesses with uh, content repurposing to reach all of their audiences across all of their platforms in the most efficient way. Awesome. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. If I did miss anybody, I apologize because my screen keeps shuffling. Um, it's amazing to have two pages worth of women here today together. And I think I counted at least five different countries, wow. which is kind of cool. So, Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. so it's always amazing to bring women from around the world together. I love it. So at this point, I'm going to ask Connie Jo to kick us off with our first raffle drawing. We have lots of fun donations from our or the women in our organization to bless you with. So Connie, you ready to go? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see who wins the first prize. And the first prize is um, a book donated by um, Judy Kane, Your Four Truths. It, ha it hasn't been released yet, but you'll get it. And it goes to Victoria. Yay! Take it away, Laura. All right, we're going to have some more prizes along the way. I'm going to ask Rachel to introduce our speaker for us today. Excellent. So Jennifer Gardella, PhD, is your social media ex. Oh, she shared her screen. <laughs> Is your social media expert. She can position you as an expert and drive traffic to your goods and services so your phone rings off the hook. Dr. Gardella works with a select group of clients providing monthly SEO, blogging, and social media support. She writes your strategic plan and optimizes your profiles, then does all the work for you. A sought after speaker, Dr. Gardella has been a blogger for the Huffington Post, speaker at the PA Conference for Women. TED Talk presenter and earned her PhD in educational psychology from Rutgers University. Well, thank you. I think I'm up. I often, you listen, are. To the, I often listen to the bio and I'm like, who's she talking about? That can't be me. I sent Laura Templeton 7,000 text messages this morning trying to keep me on track because <laughs> I'm having a famous Jen hot mess to great success day. Um, so hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Jennifer Gardella. Uh, many of you I know. Uh, Sherry, where are you? You're off my Zoom screen now, but it's really good to see you. Always fun to see those people that we haven't seen in like 18 months pop up on the screen. So um, I do provide monthly and weekly blogging to clients and help with their digital marketing presence. Uh, the big result that I get from my clients, honestly, is I get them out of overwhelm. If I could somehow get that to rank in Google and people to search on it, I would make a squillion dollars. So I'd have so much money that I could hire all of the people that help with financial planning on this call today. Um, I want you guys to know a couple of things about me, and many of you have heard me speak before because Laura is um, one of the biggest promoters of my business and always asks, asks me to stop by and speak. Um, I've done most of this myself, so which contributes to the hot mess of my digital marketing presence, but also in large part to the success of my business and what I'm able to do online for myself. When you look at my website, my social media, my graphics, even getting things like my TED Talk and writing in the Huffington Post long ago, I did it all by myself. So you don't need to hire the $10,000, $20,000 consultant to get you in the big places. What you really need to do is you need to concentrate on your core values and who you are, your story, and um, well, you need to put in a little elbow grease and figure out how to do it and then block out time to actually do it. So you can read all about me on my website. Hopefully I've done some of a good job of what I've talked about, although I am definitely the cobbler's kid that has no shoes. I preach what I do not do. Uh, and I'm always looking for women to join forces with them to have play dates so that we can work on our digital marketing presence. Uh, I've started down this road of everyone get their acts together when it comes to their digital marketing presence. And what I'm going to go over with you guys today is a shortened version of a previous presentation that I did for this group, actually, because I only have 20 minutes. Um, and I want to really talk to you guys about reaching your ideal clients. You guys are really, really good at sharing exactly what it is that you do in your one sentence. In fact, Laura, I applaud you for asking people to go from 30 seconds to one sentence because it really does make you, and 
for forces you to go down to those details of who you help. So what typically gets really confusing for your ideal clients is you want to talk about things you don't help with, right? You want to talk about your education. You want to talk, people don't care. I mean, they care a little bit, right? But I'm learning by and large, people do not care where you went to school. Now I will give you that the TED Talk and the PhD certainly does open some doors for me. So it's not that your education and what you've done isn't important. But people out there are really struggling and they are struggling in many ways that you can help, but they're only searching on their issue. So you've got to find their issue and then you've got to um, really gear all of your social media blogging and digital support around it. So the big question is, you know, how are people finding you? And we have a couple of great website designers on here that can certainly help you with some of the details that I'm going to go over and then really improving your digital marketing presence when it comes to your website. So a big piece of this game is your SEO. People are searching, and I'll say this 10 times, people are searching on their pain points. They are searching on their questions. So you need to make sure that you have the right keywords written into your website. You want to make sure that the right questions that they are asking are written into your website. So no one is looking for, you know, a holistic healer necessarily near me. No one is looking for those kind of issues. They are looking to solve a problem. You also want to be blogging. Can't stress this enough. If you are not blogging, your website is not building and you do not have content about your business to share out there on social media. No one wants to see your homepage anymore. They want to know the latest tips, tricks, trends, whatever it is. They want a short list of things to do to help them in whatever your area of expertise is. You also, a big one, and it's a buzzword, but I also find it to be very true. You want to check a couple of technical details with your website. So certainly our website designers can back me up on this. Page speed is a really hot factor becoming hotter with the SEO game because, and I teach at the college university level now, and I can tell you that it is true. People have the attention span of gnats and those that are college students right now have, I don't know what has a smaller attention span than a gnat, but they do, right? It is all about instantaneously getting information. And if you can't provide it to them, they move on. Uh, you also want to have a really good handle on your visitors and their behaviors. That's done through Google Analytics. Your website needs to be responsive, believe it or not. And I haven't checked all of yours, obviously. But as I'm tooling around the internet, looking up exciting things that I need help with, I find that a lot of websites are not mobile friendly. So we need to call our website designer and get your website mobile friendly. That actually will help you with SEO. And the last piece are reviews. When I bring a client on, I don't write reviews, obviously, because that would be unethical, but I help them get more. And the SEO of your website and your Google presence, presence will be greatly helped if you have more reviews and a Google My Business page, which I'll talk about. So again, this is all about your ideal client and the pain that you help them solve. This is not about all of your expertise. That needs to be written into your website, but it really is about what do you do well? So I help my ideal client with blogging and social media. I've also learned over the years that social media consultant is something that is, rel that is searched. But for like my friend Sherry, you know, it's all about how do I set up a business? Am I an LLC or am I an S Corp yet? <laughs> Sherry will tell you that you're probably not an escort yet, by the way. That was shocking to me to learn a couple months ago. Um, but anyway, so you just can't switch back and forth as it turns out. But you know, all those things that your ideal clients call about should be written into your website. So you wanna know why and how your people are searching for you. Now, the reason why in these presentations, I focus so strongly on keyword research is because you use the keywords in your website and then you use them in your social media posts. 
so that we, you are always putting out there a focused, clear, consistent message. Your keywords are long-tailed and short-tailed. So for those of you like that are in the money area, whether you're a bookkeeper, whether you are a financial planner, people have short-term, short-tailed keywords that they're searching on, like money management, budgeting, billing clients. They also have those longer tails that I talked about, like the questions that they're asking. How do I balance my checkbook? How do I make my spouse stick to a budget? All those kind of fun things. And then let's not forget about geolocators. Everybody should have a Google My Business page set up. It can be now clicked so that you um, don't aren't constrained to a geographic area, but those geographic uh, and core business areas are critical. Uh, I want you also to Google what you do because you will find that, um, well, there, for some of you, there's not that much traction out there because no one is searching on what you do and no one's writing about it. So find your competitors and put the, figure out what they're working on and what they are writing into their website. And then from there, write it into your website. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Your competitors will kind of point you in the right direction. And for everybody here, I want you to Google your name and but look at what comes up. Now I will share, I, I have a bit of an ego about my life in general. I, I'm the most honest and authentic person you can find. But when it comes to my digital presence, I'm like, whoop, where am I and who's beating me? And when I got into this business, my coach, Marcus Podolchik said, Jen, Google your name. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm Jen Gordella, I'm everywhere. And I was freaking nowhere, <laughs> right? So now I made sure that I built a website a UR, I have a URL, a social digital presence. I have a YouTube channel. I have all of those pieces that will rank to the point where I've also friended the other Jennifer Gardellas in the world. And Laura can attest like, this is so me to do this, right? So I have friended them and connected with them. And then they have never become a client, but one is an attorney out in California. And she's like, how'd you beat me? And I'm like, well, I know what I'm doing. So it's kind of fun when you have a lot of fun with it. And it is a bit of a competition. Uh, but I highly recommend you start to put some SEO power and time around your name because many of us are solopreneurs. We may have teams behind us like I do, but people will get a recommendation on you. And the first thing they do is search for you. Okay, your editorial calendar. I'm finding that even in the world of COVID, we just had 18 months to plan out our digital marketing presence and we did not do it. Me included because my business got too freaking busy. Awesome right? But we need to seriously put in planning time around our editorial calendar. Nothing is worse than waking up on your blogging day and having nothing to write about because you're staring at a blank screen. You have an editorial calendar that you make an appointment with yourself to go into 15 minutes every week and outline or write something. You will then wake up on your blogging day and probably have at least a structured outline of what you're going to write about. So it does help with writer's block. You also don't miss opportunities. So we are now four days away from Halloween. Everyone here could write a funny, engaging post about Halloween, but you're about to miss the boat. And if you start working on that blog post or that social media post on Halloween morning, it probably won't get out. So think about it. You can write a blog post, what's so scary about, but um, but um right? And include a cute picture of your kid or your dog or pick something up off a of Canva to include with that. That's a great thing to do this Sunday, which is Halloween. But if it's not planned out, you will never do it. Uh, and so it also forces you to remember important dates and themes around your business. Again, guilty as charged, I find my anniversary of my business from LinkedIn every year because it because people on LinkedIn are always like happy business anniversary or whatever they have. I, I should be planning content around that. We all should be. Okay, so a blog post. Um, for those of you like myself who have children, whether they're in school now or they've gone through a school district, this is not some newfangled writing that our kids are learning in school these days. A blog post is an opening paragraph. Well, it's a great SEO title, an opening paragraph, couple supporting paragraphs and a strong close. You can get a little creative here. You can do a list, a how-to, a what not to do, but don't make this all that complicated. You, This is military writing. Tell them what you're gonna tell them, tell them, tell them what you just told them. 
Google wants to see that consistency in your writing. You don't want to wing all over the place. Okay, social media. It's really funny when I talk to people and they think social, that social media is some huge octopus that they're never going to be able to get under control. It involves all this tech and research and pictures and writing, and it's just too much for them. It is not. Social media is three separate parts, set up, connect, and engage. And if all you do is come out of our little discussion today uh, and you're committed to setting up something new, whether it's a Twitter or a bleh, specific part of your Facebook page, which most people are not optimizing, that would be fantastic. If you're well set up, like with your LinkedIn profile, maybe you just want to connect to people. I can tell you the best people to connect to are the people in your group. Copy the chat and connect with them all on LinkedIn. In fact, my computer is already buzzing with some of you connecting with me. So congratulations, I've notifications set up. And then we want you engaging. So you have to know the culture of each site. You have to know where your ideal clients are hanging out. You have to set those accounts up with great writing and great pictures. I always say I receive a lot of business and a lot of inquiries sight unseen from LinkedIn. People are go in there looking for a social media consultant or how do I do this? And all of the right words are written in there. And then I want you to share content. Now I per do this on purpose because I have this written different ways in different places. I sometimes say half the content should be yours and half the content should be the content of others. When I say that it's because more than likely you don't have enough content yet on your blog or your website to be sharing things regularly. Ideally, we want you sharing three days a week from content from your website, two days a week, the content of others. Google My Business. This is not optional. So if you do not display in Maps, it is because you don't have a Google My Business account. It is easy. It is uh, keyword driven. So it's really easy to set up and write a great account. Believe it or not, you have to get verified by snail mail, which is amazing, but does make sense because it's based on your address. It is a Google toy and we always play with the Google toys in, our, in the Google sandbox. And if you post to it regularly, your posts will outrank just about anything else on the internet. So it is incredibly powerful, especially if you're a hyper-local business, but honestly now for anybody. So finding good content to share. Again, I want a bulk of the content that you share to be from your own website. This is your blog post and your articles. It can also be YouTube videos. It can also be um, places where you're featured. Uh, I share speaking engagements every once in a while when I get my act together. However, again, you know, 25 to 50% of the content as you start out should also be the content of other sources. This looks like articles and publications that are not competitors, but that are related to what you do. For instance, I can share an article from Laura's website Laura, we should really start hooking that up. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I always say it whenever I speak and you're in the room and we never do it. So because she is helping small business owners build their businesses just like I am. Sherry and I could do the same thing. So finding good blogs to share and good content, competitors of other, the non-competitors, blogs, set up a Google alert for your name and your core business area. That gives you the ability also to stay on top of trends that you can be right about writing about. Uh, you can um, set a pocket on your iPhone. I always talk about this. It's a little app that allows you to share, share content as you read around the internet. Uh, you can search Twitter for a hashtag. So if you're interested in getting into Twitter or Instagram and you want to find out what is being uh, shared about your core business areas on those two sites, just look at a hashtag. Um, what are your competitors posting about? So this is a way I help my clients. I, you know, they always want to know, well, why is my competitor ranking and I'm not? So we go in and find out. And a lot of times it's going on their Facebook page and finding out what that competitor is searching on. Uh, be very, very careful when you're sharing from subscription sites. The Washington Post and the New York Times have some of the best content on the web but no one's gonna be able to read it if they don't have a subscription. So my clients are always like, why can't we share this article? And it's because it's behind a paywall, we can't do anything. And also back to the, those of us who run or are involved in our communities, you know, I can work with people across, across the country, heck anywhere in the world, 
but um, it's also a really good idea to show that you're kind of a team player for your community and share content going on about what's going on around your town. You know, that's fun. It gets people knowing, you know, people that uh, you wouldn't connect with and people who may work for you eventually that are locally, which is always a good idea. That is it. And I just want to say I did exactly 20 minutes, which I don't really know if I've ever hit the mark like that. So I just want to say in closing, uh, you know, book a call with me and go on my website. My calendar is often broken, which is unfortunate because I can't seem to fix it. I should hire that out to somebody. But book a call with me. Shoot me an email. I'm available to do uh, 30, you know, 30 minutes with you, figure out what you need, uh, give you my top tips and tricks. And that's about it. I have to stop sharing my screen now. I think we're taking questions, correct? Yes, thank you so much, Jen. That was wonderful as always. So much content and information. Ladies, you will get the replay of this presentation so you'll be able to go back. And I don't know about you, but I was taking feverish notes and couldn't get them all written down. So you'll be able to go back through the presentation and um, just be able to capture some of those highlights. And I definitely recommend scheduling a call with Jen. Um, but I am going to ask those of you who would like to ask a question to raise your hands. We have about five minutes for Q&A. Does anybody? Okay, I see Nancy has her hand up. Why don't you go first, Nancy? Yeah, that was so full of information. Thank you so very much. Yeah. Quick question about Google Maps. I work, you know, globally. Uh, what what is the value of and I work always on the internet. So what is the value of, of having something that is local to my my physical presence? I know I said it, but I probably also said it very quickly. There's a way now to set up a Google My Business page so that it's not based on an address, but it, there's a box you click and it says I work with clients anywhere. The reason why it's important is because Google posts can rank in search. And so we want to make sure that you have a Google My Business page. It is set up and optimized for what you do and you're posting to it regularly. Okay, great question, Nancy. Who else has a question? Mary Beth had a question. Okay, great, thanks. Go ahead, Mary Beth. Yeah, thank you, Jen. That was really cool. I have to follow up on the Google uh, Maps because uh, I click, I, I'm just asking because maybe I didn't do enough. Somebody showed up at my house for is to uh, for a session when I was actually at the Veterinary Holistic Center and she found my address on Google My Business. So I'm like, well, I won't swear like a sailor, but I was thinking those words. Uh, and um, so I just said, you know, what, why do I, I don't want to send people to my house. I don't want them to have my home address. Uh, is, there a, is there a trick in there that I missed? I'm just asking. Uh, well, the account will have to be verified through a postcard. So there is a function to your house. You have a decision to make, right, as a small business owner. And um, uh, I would, the trick I would say is to find out. Now, you have to be so careful about this. But if there's a co working space that hasn't been um, banned by Google, you could certainly ask them if you can use their address. But a lot of the targets and research re Regis have been banned um, as working as acceptable addresses by Google. But you could go that route. Um, you, you need an address. The other thing is just to realize you're not going to employ that part of you know, your digital presence and lose that SEO bank for your buck. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks for asking the question, Mary Beth. Um, Gina had her hand up. Go ahead. Hi. Um, I have a question in regards to hashtags. Like, should those be used regularly on Facebook, Instagram, or are those things that we probably shouldn't be using as much? That is a great question. So they are the only way that, well, I should say that if you're going to, um, start down the Instagram or Twitter path and you're not going to use hashtags, don't bother. So the only reason why you would be on Twitter or um, Instagram are to use hashtags. If you are in a professional sphere, you can use them on LinkedIn as well. But again, this has to be done very, very carefully. Um, and, and based on each platform, you use a different set of hashtags and you use them in very different ways. Regardless, you shouldn't over hashtag. You should only use your core business and maybe a couple fun ones, 
And I'm a really big fan of branding a hashtag for your business, even if it's going to take years to hit. So, you know, we want to make sure that you have all of your tweets or all of your Instagram posts around, well, in my case, it's Dr. Jenny Lynn. Because when Jenny Lynn, Dr. Jenny Lynn hits it really big and someone goes in looking for Dr. Jenny Lynn, I want all of my previous um, tweets Instagram posts to show. This also, just to take it one step further, is a really good idea if you're posting YouTube videos. That's great, great, great question. Thank you so much. Um, and we have Pat Creighton has her hand up. Loud woman. Hi, uh, my question is uh, to do with you saying something about Regis. Um, what is that about? So if you have an office at like Regis, Targus, a PO box at a local UPS store, and you claim that that is your business, you may, uh, Google may not accept it. Why would that be? Do you know? Yeah, because people use them to have Google My Business addresses all over the place and don't actually work out of those spaces. Remember, Google wants you to provide an authentic experience. And there's been over the years, hundreds of ways for many people to game the system. So one of them is I'm going, I want to rank in Doylestown, Warrington and Center City, Philadelphia. So I'm going to pay a hundred bucks to a Regis in each place and act like I work out of there. And Google goes, hey, wait a minute, but you don't really work out of there. You're just trying to game the system. Awesome. Thank you so much. Ladies, that was great. I, and I know that a couple other people had their hands up. We need to, to move on. Um, it, so if you do have questions, I encourage you to reach out to Dr. Jennifer Gordella, Dr. Jenny Lynn, as we are now going to hashtag her, Dr. Jenny, Dr. Jenny Lynn. Um, so thank you so much for the great questions and for the interactions and definitely connect with um, Jen on LinkedIn and social media and follow her. Um, and we will definitely be connected. I'm going to ask Connie Jo to um, share another raffle drawing with us. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> we have two door prizes this time. And the first one is the book Loud Woman by our very own Jill Celeste. And I have a copy of it. And it goes to Sherry. Yeah. Woohoo. Great book. Great book. Thank yes. you so much for sharing that, Jill. It's, it is a, a wonderful book filled with amazing stories and encouragement. So thank you. I think um, Connie Joe had a second drawing. I have a second one. You the second do. one okay. is by Laura Templeton. It's called 30 Second Success. Ditch the pitch and start connecting. And it goes to Hana. Yay! Ooh. That's it for now. Thank you so much. Thanks, Connie Joe, for sharing that. Um, now is the time when we typically do member announcements. Um, our members are always invited to either share whether they have a promotion that they're promoting at the current time or a shout out for maybe a coffee date or a conversation that they've had with another member. Um, we're going to go through these, but I would like to go through them. We, you know, we're a little short on time. So, you know, keep them brief, ladies. I'm just asking. All right. So I'm going to ask Margaret to go first. Okay, um, no, no announcements uh, or promotions, but I just want to say thank you to all of the many of you who took time to send me cards and special messages upon the death of my sister, and it's very meaningful, and I really, this is what the sisterhood is about, is supporting each other, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you back with us, Margaret, sending you lots of love. Mwah. Thank you. Pat and then Nancy. Well, I just had a really nice call with Liz Pipitone and I recommend that everybody talk to her because she's great. Nice. Great shout out. Nancy and then Jill. I am starting up a new MVP club for women business leaders who are ready to step up to the next level by getting rid of the stuff that's holding them back. And so if you're interested, just reach out, Nancy at unblockresults.com and we'll, we'll talk about it. Awesome. Thank you, Nancy. Jill and then Rachel. 
Um, my announcement to join virtual networkers, which I'll talk more about in a few minutes. <laughs> Liz and then Mary Beth. We forgot Rachel. Oh, sorry. Rachel and then Liz. Sorry. Don't forget Rachel. Jumping around um, here. <laughs> I'm growing my Facebook following, so I will pop a link in the chat. If you feel so called to follow my page, that would be wonderful. Awesome. Yes, ladies, and I do encourage you it, when we share the chat file, if there are specific asks in the chat, if you would follow up on them, it's it's an easy, it's an easy way to help our members. Liz and then Mary Beth. Hi, I had um, two wonderful chats, like like Pat said, I had a great chat with her. Um, she does all things with website and helping your, your business. So check her out for, for that help. Um, Mo, I had a great talk with you as well um, for all things wellness. Um, and I wanted to pop a freebie in the chat. Awesome. awesome. Thanks, Liz. Mary Beth and then Mo. Okay, so um, I would love if you, I would love any animal lovers uh, to join my spiritual pet people Facebook group and I'll put a, a link in the chat. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Mo and then Hana. So um, quick shout out to Luz and Margaret who had an awesome coffee chat this, with on Monday. And um, I have a Facebook group that I would love for everyone to be a part of. It's called Just Feel Better Living Life Light. And so I'm gonna put a link to that um, in the um, chat and also friend me on um, Facebook because I feel this is why I joined this group so that we can help each other grow. I know I've used a number of y'all services and there's a number on, I've got on my list to, to, to use in the future. So um, yeah, I'm here to help people feel better and to be healthy. So please um, join the group, uh, no commitment, necessary but to just feel better and live life light so thank you nice. thanks mo hana and then Kristen. no particular announcements at this time but uh, i would like to give a big shout out for the network itself if you are wondering if you should join this or not i would say please do <laughs> <laughs> Kristen and susan yeah, the announcement I have right now is I am starting next week a human design informed mastermind for your life as much as your business. And I will pop a link in the chat. And I also want to give a shout out to Margaret. We met last week, had a great conversation, and she really helped me move the needle on my LinkedIn profile. Yeah. So thanks, Margaret. Awesome. <laughs> She's awesome. Margaret's awesome. Susan and then Nicole. Uh, just a reminder, uh, we are offering a four-week program, Happy Healthy Days. This program is designed to provide sustain sustainable support to help you make it through the fall and beyond, trying to get through all those tasty treats and all the stress that happens throughout the October, November, and December holidays. It's not too late to join. I'll put the information in the chat box. would love to have a few of you join us along. Okay? Thanks, Susan. Nicole and then Kate. Kate, Kate, Varness. Kate Varness, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I absolutely love the speaker. That was awesome, Jen. I really appreciate all the information that you shared. Great reminders, great things to follow up on. And I, uh, my, I guess my little promo that I'm going to give out is I also partner with Norwex and Norwex is having a flash sale right now. And so if you are looking to live a little bit more sustainably and without chemicals, um, they have this great little wristlet pouch, which is water resistant. And these three little mini cl uh, cloths, which are the Enviro cloth, body cloth and window cloth. And they are just great to take with you to keep everything clean. And this is actually a cleaner way to clean than with the use of any other kind of chemical producing wipes. And if you'd love to know more, I'd love to talk to you more about that. The promotion only goes until tomorrow. So if you are interested, please check out. Um, I will put a link in there. Thank you. Thanks, Nicole. Kate Varness and then Christy. All right, uh, ladies, beautiful ladies, if you are stuck in the stop-start cycle in your business, uh, you probably know what I mean. You, 
launch an initiative and then second guess and, and uh, what you're doing. So you stop. So if that is something you're experiencing or you know of another person who's experiencing that, I would love for you to come to my free webinar tomorrow. Uh, put the, the link in the comments. It is called From Self-Doubt to Soul-Satisfying Success, Central Knowledge for Inspired Solopreneurs. Hope to see you there. Great. Thanks, Kate. Christy and then Kate Arbuckle. Um, Dr. Gardella, thank you for sharing your brilliance with us today. I can't wa wait to watch the replay and soak it all up all over again. Um, and I echo what another member said. I love being a member of virtual networkers. And it's just every Wednesday with Laura is such a sacred time for, for my heart and my soul. So if you're considering joining, please really think about it because it, it'll change your mm -hmm. life for the better. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, Kate Arbuckle and then Marina. Echoing Christy's words so beautifully, we have such a lovely time on a Wednesday um, and in the spirit of keeping things short, I am offering a free week of mindfulness and manifestation training this week over in the Facebook group Kate's Corner of Happiness. Uh, come join, I'm just posting training videos every day and I'm going live every day and you can come join us for free. Awesome, have a thank you. Day. Thank you so much, um, Marina. I would like only to thank uh, Jennifer for a perfect and very interesting and reaching presentation. It was very useful for me. Thank you. Take care. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, Connie, Joe, and then Judy. Thank you, Jennifer. That was awesome. I'm definitely going to rewatch this one. It's a juicy one. Um, I want to invite everyone here to the next Monday's um, virtual networkers meeting. It's uh, November 1st from 3 to 4 p.m. And our speaker is going to be Suzanne Moore. I put information about her topic and I also the Zoom link into the chat box. And then speaking for myself, um, I am ready here, ready to help you get your books in order. If you're ready to outsource your bookkeeping, I'm ready for you. My um, uh, website <laughs> link, I couldn't think of that word, is in the chat box and also uh, a link to um, schedule some time with me. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much, Connie Joe. Judy Kane and then Sherry. Yeah, so my book, Your Four Truths, is launching on November 11th. Woohoo! And Victoria, you'll get a copy of the book, you know, once I do. Um, but so I'm inviting everybody to join me on Facebook. Um, I've got a launch day event set up. I've put the link in the chat. I'd love to get some traffic there. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you so much, Judy. Um, Sherry and then Kim. I just want to let everyone know that you are invited to join my Facebook group, Let's Talk Legal. I dropped the link in the chat. It is a place for small business owners to gather and talk about the legal aspects of running a business in a supportive group of like-minded women. Nice. Thanks, Sherry. Kim and then Gabriella. Well, I just have, um, I have a shout out for Judy Kane. I met with her and did a session with her. It's amazing how well that works. I'm telling you, I'm already getting, seeing results. I'll have to email you. It's amazing. Um, and then I actually am still trying to figure out this world of social media. So I have a true appreciation for the presentation today. Um, Jennifer, you did an awesome job. I just set up my LinkedIn business profile yesterday and I'm so proud of myself. So um, click LinkedIn with my personal page and then follow my business page. Thanks. Um, Gabriella and then Kelly. Yes, thank you. I've uh, connected to several of you uh, on LinkedIn already. If I haven't, please connect with me. And I've placed in the chat my Facebook and Instagram uh, pages. Um, if you are curious about the gong bath, I'm also going to place that link. You can come for a taster and experience the healing uh, power of, uh, of sound. Nice. Can Kelly? we go on, Gabriella? Just hit one of those things. <laughs> Here we go. Go, go, go. Yeah. 
Thank you, Gabriella. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> don't, don't only hit them. That's no. thank you. Thank you it's, that was beautiful. Kelly and then Kaylee. Thank you, Gabriella. I didn't realize you could rub rub on them instead of bang them. <laughs> That's amazing. And what Dr. Jennifer shared, always something new to learn about uh, media. But I'm wondering, ladies, if you're feeling in a place where you're kind of feeling sluggish and your body is a little slower than you want it to be, and maybe you're ready for a reset. I'm doing a five-day simple fall reset uh, detox it starts next Monday and goes from Monday through Friday. You can do anything for five days. Really, you can. It's food-based. I give you over 30 recipes, the shopping list, instructions, and support through a Facebook group so that you can do some reset on your body and get, get ready for the holidays. I'll put the information in the, in, the link in the chat, and I welcome any questions you have. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kelly. Kaylee and then Purdy. Hi, uh, thank you, Jennifer, for the presentation and thank you everybody else for being here. I would like to make a special offer for a 12 week coaching package. So if there's anybody that you know who might benefit from any coaching, uh, just till the end of the year, I have a special price for the 12 week. I put more details in the chat and just don't hesitate to contact me. Awesome. Thank you Thank so you. much, Kaylee. Perdita and then Stacy. Yes, I have a shout out for the fabulous Rachel Taylor, who has given my website an upgrade. And I'm sorry, there's a little voice who decided she wanted to start talking at exactly the same time that I did. Just a minute, <laughs> babe. just one minute. Okay, just one second. Um, shout out to Rachel Taylor and uh, somebody's homesick from school. Uh, shout out to Rachel Taylor and I would love, um, I'm also trying to build my Instagram following. So for anybody who's interested, please come and check me out there. I will put it in the chat. Thank you. Awesome. Yes, babe. Thank you so much. Stacy Rowan, you wanna finish us off? Oh, you're still muted, babe. It was a good thing. I was still muted because I said <clears throat> a curse because I hit oh. the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the universe was protecting me. Um, <laughs> I just want to say that for anyone who would like to connect on LinkedIn, um, I will share my LinkedIn address. I would love to interact with you there and support each other by commenting and liking on each other's things. So um, you can either go to my LinkedIn address or you can put yours in there and I will come and find you. So thanks so much. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, I hope I didn't miss anybody. Um, any of our members that are here that didn't get a chance to share any announcements, my apologies if I did miss you. Um, it, feel free to drop anything, any of your messages or asks into the chat box. And um, for those of you who are guests, this is typically how we run a, a virtual networkers meeting, whether mon we have meetings um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So um, that's typically how a, a, our standard meetings are run. So we're uh, happy to share that with you. And I wanna thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna ask Connie Jo to um, kick us off with another raffle. All right, I'm ready. This time we have three door prizes. And I wanna thank everyone who donated door prizes. It was phenomenal. And also we have some juicy uh, signing bonuses that were donated also, we'll learn more about that. The first book, it's another book, is from Hannah Broter, Brand Boxes, Your Nine-Step Process to Creating a Visually Compelling Brand. And that goes to Mo. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Mo Cooper. Awesome. Awesome. Mo awesome. Cooper. Our next door prize is from Sherry Andrews. It's her book, Smooth Sailing, A Practical Guide to Legally Protecting Your Business. And that goes to Nicole. Yay. And the third book, I'm sad to say, and I need to rectify that, goes uh, is uh, from Kelly Lutman. And it's her book called From Diet to Edit, Discover Freedom in a New Approach to Food. And that goes to Lee, L-E-E, -E, Lee. Yay! That's it for now. 
Thank you so much, Connie Jo. Connie Jo did a great job gathering um, uh, just gifts from all of our members from each and every chapter. So there's just a, a plethora of amazing women writing books, obviously, within virtual networkers. So that's always fun to share and, and to uh, be able to um, bless other people with. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to ask Jill to step in here and um, share some more about virtual networkers. Yay! Hopefully you're seeing a very cute dog right now. Yes, ma'am. Um, she is not part of our presentation, but she's adorable, so we share with her. So uh, we are now into the part of the presentation where we tell you more about virtual networkers and joining us. And uh, I will have to speed through this because we're a little behind on our agenda. But if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat box. Our members and our presidents are all here to answer. So um, thank you all for being here today. Virtual networkers is exactly what it is you see here on the slide. We are a sacred sisterhood of female entrepreneurs who want to grow not only our businesses, but ourselves. We are a, a group that is committed to personal development, business development, spiritual development. We are here for lifelong learners. And today's presentation by Dr. Gardella is an example of the type of education you get through us. We have weekly meetings through our four chapters, and I'll talk about our chapters in just a moment, but I want to first talk about our meeting structures. We have a pretty structured uh, way of running our meetings, no matter which chapter you join. Most of our meetings are featured speaker meetings, which is which you saw as an example today with Dr. Gardella's presentation. So we will have either someone from your chapter do a presentation, someone from within virtual networkers, but maybe not in your chapter, or an outside speaker. And what we ask is that this is not a sales demo, but this is really an education so that when you are done listening to that 20 minute presentation, you've learned something new, either to make your life easier, your business better. Um, we've had everything from face yoga, which was really fascinating, to uh, how to, you know, how to hire a bookkeeper and everything in between. We also have meetings called coffee dates, coffee, virtual coffee date parties. These are hugely fun virtual networkers tell everybody, Put in the chat box how much you love our virtual coffee date parties. What happens during these meetings is we use Zoom technology to pair you into two, maybe three um, people and you have a 10 or to 15 minute coffee date with that person. Then we reconvene, we sort of shuffle it back up through Zoom and then we send you back out into pairs for a second uh, 10 to 15 minute virtual coffee date party. And this is just a lot of fun, kind of like speed dating meets coffee dates. It's a great way to get to know people and its members and guests are welcome to that. We also have uh, once a quarter business masterminds. This is when you bring your burning business related question to your chapter. We, each chapter has not only coaches in various uh, walks of life, but a lot of us have been entrepreneurs for many years and we've picked up some things along the way. So you may have somebody in there who's a business coach, but you may have someone such as like Mary Beth Decker who's been in business for a while and she might be able to answer the question based on her experience. So this is a great way to get your questions answered. And then finally, we have special events such as this one. Uh, the Love and Learn Party is just one example. We often have holiday parties, things like that to um, just to have some fun in between all the different types of business meetings we do have. So why would you like to become a member of Virtual Networkers? Well, I have two slides uh, to, um, to hopefully convince you to join us. And the first bullet point I think you've already seen today, you will have access to fantastic personal in business development education through our speakers. That's our first uh, pillar of what we stand for here in Virtual Networkers. We want you to learn, we want you to get better, and we want you to be um, also sharing your expertise. And yes, through that, you will get referrals. Um, these are heartfelt referrals. We're not structured like some other groups where you have to give referrals. If the referral feels right, we want you to give it and of course receive it as well. As you just saw at the end of every meeting, our members can give a verbal announcement as well as use the chat box uh, to ask for referrals, promotional help, shout outs, et cetera. You also, if you become a member, will have an opportunity to speak. And this is really critical because this is where uh, people get to learn more about how you help others so that they can give you better referrals or maybe even hire you um, themselves. And you can do that in your own chapter as well as the other chapters uh, as part of virtual networkers. And also with your membership, you will join a specific chapter, and again, I'll talk about those in just a second, but you have a guest pass to all of the virtual networkers. So really, when you pay for your annual membership for virtual networkers, you're paying for 
yes, being uh, attached to one chapter, but at your leisure and according to your schedule, you are also welcome to visit the other chapters in our organization. You just come and attend and enjoy the networking. So um, we also have a student directory, and I just want to pause for a moment to give you sort of a branding uh, update, I guess, for lack of better terms. Um, I am the founder of Celestial University, which is my main umbrella brand. And under Celestial University, I have several different um, business offerings, and one of which is virtual networkers. So when you join virtual networkers, you will be uh, included in our directory. So not only will that directory have virtual networkers in there, but also students from my other offerings. So you'll be able to put your information in there uh, for possible coffee dates, referrals, et cetera. We also have a Facebook group for all Celestial University students, so you can join that and you also have fun in there. And I hopefully it goes without uh, saying you have a greater uh, success mindset and be part of something really amazing. I started Virtual Networkers in 2018 um, and uh, we have grown to four chapters and this is a really unique organization because of the sisterhood that some of our members have already spoken about. There are some responsibilities to being a virtual networker. One of those is to uh, be part of one of our speaker committees within your chapter. So what we ask is for two to three members to be in a quarterly speaker committee. This allows uh, our organization to get to know other people through your network. So you would be, um, you know, and this is all done with your chapter president, but you would just be asked to, to meet with two other members and, and form that quarterly committee and you would find speakers for that assigned quarter. It is a system, there's a video, there's a spreadsheet. It's very easy, very turnkey. You would not be in there uh, alone. You'll be in there with someone who's done this before. It is very painless, I promise, but it's really cool because you get to invite people in who could be a speaker. And don't forget, you also get to be a speaker as well, either in your own chapter as well as the other chapters. Another responsibility is we want you to invite guests. Again, we don't have any referral requirements or anything like that, but if you know someone who that I like to call is has the right energy for virtual networkers, we would be delighted if you invite them uh, to one of our chapters meetings as you meet them. Some other responsibilities, we do have an attendance policy. This is a networking group after all and is a weekly networking group. So we are expecting you to be at every week's meeting. Now, of course, with that said, we know that we are living lives. So if you're going on vacation or you're not feeling well or the dog is sick or maybe you just need a mental health day, no problem. Just let your chapter president know that you won't be attending. And that way she will know um, that you're aware that you're not blowing us off, in other words. Um, you will get a copy of the attendance policy and I don't like to put negative stuff, but we do have a clause in there that if you miss three consecutive meetings without telling your chapter president, then we may um, we may consider revoking your membership because we really want attendance. We really want you here to, to commit. Um, so when you see the times, make sure you pick the time that works best for your calendar. Again, if you're sick or on vacation, that's not what I'm talking about. But if you just sort of disappear, then we will um, we will search for you and find out what the reason is. You also have um, a handbook that you'll have access to upon membership, and it uh, spells out the attendance policy as well as some of our other policy. It's about four or five pages. It's not very long, I promise. And we'll ask that you read that if you decide to become a member. So before I go into all our chapters, I'm going to end this slideshow, and I'm going to ask Miss Laura to uh, interview um, our uh, our person, Miss Sherry Andrews. Am I still sharing my screen? Yep. Shit a brick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that second. Stop share. <laughs> there we go. That's why you have two screens. You're like, where am I going? Laura, take it away. All right. Thank you so much. I um I have the pleasure of interviewing someone that I feel has been a, a huge influence on many businesses within virtual networkers because she brings such amazing content to each and every one of us. So I'm going to actually um, ask Sherry uh, a few pointed questions and just share with us what her, what um, virtual networkers really has done for her. So Sherry, I thank you so much for being here with me and I'm going to um, 
you know what? Let me see if I can just bring it so that it's you speaking instead of me. So, um, all right. So Sherry, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you saying yes to me wanting to interview you. Um, I just wanted to ask a couple of quick questions if that's okay with you. Yep, I'm here, ready to go. Great. So how long have you been a member of Virtual Networkers? Um, a year and a half. Wow, okay. And in that year and a half, like what, what has really stood out for you as a member of Virtual Networkers? What is, what's, what has it done for you with your business? <laughs> you just asked a question like a lawyer. Um, I know, right? <laughs> two different questions and I'm not sure which one you want me to answer. Okay. Um, how it's really helped my business has been a myriad of ways. Um, so I have had some people become clients, some people become mentors to me, um, some people have become great referral partners, um, and I can always count on my virtual networker sisters to call me out on my own BS when I am holding back, feeling hesitant, um, not you know, shining my light the way I should be. Um, I have learned that they will lovingly call me out and help me move forward in my own business. I really appreciate the fact that you shared lovingly call you out, right? <laughs> it is, it is, you know, after all, it is about caring. Um, so what inspired you to join virtual networkers? From my very first meeting, I absolutely fell in love with the energy of this group. And that's really what it's been about. Um, if you want a group of women who are going to be your tribe and your cheerleaders and your support system, you can't find a better place than right here. That's a really great point. I, I appreciate you sharing that. Um, and so what, you know, just, just to kind of wrap it up, what's your, one of your um, favorite things about virtual networkers meetings? What I really love about it is the structure of the meeting. It is set up in such a nice way that you have your intros, you have your speakers, you have your announcements, and it's one hour, you're in and out, but you get so much value in such a short period of time. Mm -hmm. That's a really great point. Um, and, and I know that you have been a very integral part of being a Friday member, but you also show up at a lot of the other chapters as well. So talk about, just share with us quickly, the benefit of being able to access, have access to all the, the chapters of virtual networkers. So for me, um, the idea that I can hop around, I get to meet more people, I get to hear more speakers and learn more things from other um, great content providers. And, you know, whenever it fits your, your calendar, so you're not required to show up at these other meetings, but whenever it fits in your calendar to be able to show up, and that's one more place you're learning and promoting your own business. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us. Is there any like closing comment that you'd like to make before we turn it back to Jill? If you are thinking about joining virtual networkers, stop thinking, just do it. It is worth every penny of your investment. I guarantee it. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here and saying yes again. Thank you, Sherry. You're Joe? welcome. Thank you so much, Sherry. That was awesome. All right, let me, let me show Emma again and then share the screen i wish they had like lovely instrumental music or something for that there we go all right so i'm going to ask our chapter presidents to come up uh, one by one just for one minute little spiel about their chapters we're going to start with uh connie joe miller tell us about monday um well monday chapter's fun and I just want to sort of re-say what um, Sherry said. It's um, virtual networkers is kind of like McDonald's. Like, you know what you're going to get at every meeting, just like you know what you're going to get at every McDonald's. But each meeting has its own um, sort of personality. So it, you, you never know what you're going to find um, when you show up, in, up at a meeting other than, you know, that you're going to have the consistent format, the consistent quality um, at each uh, chapter meeting. Yes. I encourage all of you to check them all out. <laughs> Thank you, Connie Joe. And we did list the members of each, uh, as you'll see here, 
um, in case you're curious who's in there and what their uh, industries are, there are will be on each slide. So here's Connie Joes, and now we'll move to Rachel. Rachel, give us a little overview of your chapter, please. Yes, the Tuesday chapter is unsub, also named the European chapter. <laughs> uh, we actually represent it's either six or seven countries now um, with all our members, and most of our members are actually expats. So culturally, we represent pretty much all the globe. Um, we have a wonderful bunch of ladies and seconding what Connie says, every chapter does have their own flavor and you can definitely see that as you attend the different chapters. So I'd love to welcome you to my chapter. Yay, thank you. And thank you for our, our European members who are here today. Give whoop whoop if you're here, thank you so much. Our Wednesday chapter is Laura. Brag, brag about your chapter, please. So, you know, Wednesday more um, is, uh, was designed to actually be able to give it give people from you know Europe the ability to connect with people in America. So that 11 a.m. Eastern time really was designed so that we could have people from different parts of the world all come together. And as you can see, some of our members in our chapter, actually Kate Arbuckle is from Europe. Um, Lydia just recently relocated to Portugal from the US. So we have folks in our chapter that really come together from different parts of the world and bring their own unique style. That being said, I'm gonna you know mimic what Connie Jo and Rachel have said, it's just a different flavor. It's so nice to have um, the ability to go from chapter to chapter and just meet with different women who are bringing so much amazing talent to the world. So that's that's what Wednesday chapter is all about is connecting everyone. Yes. And then we have the Friday chapter. These are the OGs. This is the first chapter of virtual networkers that I started back in 2018. Many of the members you see listed here have been with me since the very, very beginning. And I love you all. Thank you so much for being part of this journey. Um, we are have one of our larger chapters, however, we still have room. We, we have room to welcome new members in the Friday chapter. Get ready to have fun. Um, I am a morning person. I'm bright and early, ready to go on Friday. So come and join us on Friday if it speaks to you. So now I'm going to stop the share because uh, we have Rachel. No, wait, sorry, we have a, a raffle drawing. I jumped ahead. Raffle drawing. Miss Connie Jo. I am ready. Okay, again, we have three uh, prizes uh, this time. Uh, the first one is from Donate, was donated by Kim Stone. It's a book, not, it's not a book she wrote, but it's her, her coaching practice is based on this book. It's called Ula, Find Balance in an Unbalanced World. And it goes to Nancy. <laughs> and our next door prize is from Jill Celeste. She gave two. And it's a $20 Amazon gift card. So you can buy a book. And that goes to Christy Crippen. Yay, Christy! Yeehaw. And you don't have to buy and my then book. The third. <laughs> any book will do. Any well, book. any any yeah. any book that we've written. Um, uh, the third one is uh, was donated by uh, Susan Shelton, and it's two Celaviv hydrating and lifting sheet masks. And she donated two, so you can do it with a friend. And that goes to Kate V. Kate Barnes. Yes. Awesome, congratulations, ladies. We still have more raffle drawings coming up, so don't go away. Um, right now, we're going to have Rachel interview another member, Miss Perdita. Yes, the wonderful Perdita. So Perdita is a member of my chapter, and she's a professional speaking coach for non-native English speakers. So if you want to know more about niching, that's how you do it. So Perdita, why did you join Virtual Networkers? Oh, it's such a good question. Um, Virtual networkers really showed up. Um, it, there was quite a lot of divine timing when it showed up. Uh, as Rachel mentioned, um, so many of us in the European chapter are expats, and I was really feeling that expatedness. Um, and and yeah, feeling a bit solitary, really looking for community connection. Um, and I think think you'll correct me if I'm wrong Rach but I think you and I connected first and then you told me all about virtual networkers and it was the perfect time for me because I was really looking for 
um, a network of wonderful people and I found it. Exactly right. Uh, what results or benefits have you received so far since being a member? Um, well, there are so many. Um, and of course, they're, they're going to be different for everybody because the way that everybody views benefits changes, right? We all have our own perspectives on that. Um, and for me, among the many benefits really have been, uh, there's a reliability factor. I really love the fact that Tuesday mornings, I've got my group. Um, there's, um, you know, I, I'm never bored because sometimes there'll be guests or sometimes there'll be some surprise people who show up, but there's the core group of people that are there every week. And it really is, it's a great anchor to my week, actually. It really helps keep me focused and anchored. Um, and as time has gone by and I've gotten to get to know the members a little bit more, I, I can feel my, my community um, really growing. So that's really meaningful to me. So that's one of the biggest benefits that I've gotten since I joined. I'm really glad you spoke to that because that's one of the questions I do get the most from potential members is every week that's a big commitment. Um, and after joining, so many people comment that they now schedule it every week and they look forward to it every week. So if that's kind of one of your reservations... Um, well, and Kathy, say. who's one of our newest members, um, and I'm very proud to say that I introduced her to virtual <laughs> networkers. So I'm very proud <laughs> of that. And my pleasure. Um, but I remember that was a comment that she made. And, and since joining exactly what you said, Rach, she made a similar kind of uh Kathy and I often joke that both of us are have a personality that's a little bit madly off in all directions um in fact if I ever write a book and put it up for a raffle here um that will be the title madly off in all directions and she really she talked about how virtual networkers was a real grounding thing for her and I definitely echo that awesome what's your favorite part do I have to choose one <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, my favorite part, my favorite part, honestly, is um, things like this. This is one of my favorite parts. I, like I said, I've gotten to know the, the members in our group more and more as time has gone by. Um, and I'm excited to get them, get to know them even better and to get to know new members in our group as well. But I also love this aspect. Um, there are so many of you here today that I, I don't know at all. And I just, I feel very excited at the prospect of just having met so many new people. So I think my favorite part is the openness. Um, <clears throat> Jill and Laura and Connie Joe, I think you and Sherry, I think you've all mentioned this already, but I think it, it, it's worth repeating that this, I, this openness of being able to attend any meeting um, and to kind of constantly be meeting new people who are like-minded is, is, has a value beyond measure. Awesome. And if someone was unsure on the fence, what would you say to them? I mean, I think I would, I would first ask them a question and the question would be, what could you possibly be on the fence about? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, it's just like, check, check, check. I can't really imagine what anyone's reservation might be. But if somebody did have reservations, I would just, you know, I would, I would tell them to look within and, you know, ask, ask themselves, what are they looking for? And if what they're looking for is community and solidarity and support and a beautiful, um, there's so much, it's so dynamic, you know, there's so much vitality and there's so many different profiles. Um, if those are the things that they are looking for, I would, I would say, get off that fence, pick a side. And that side is the virtual network. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What a great way to end our conversation. Thank you so much, Perdita. <laughs> Thank you, Perdita. <laughs> we call her Purdy because she's Purdy. Uh, we're going to share slides again because we're going to have Rachel because I asked Rachel to do our um, our special offers because there's nothing more luxurious than an Australian accent telling you about how to join virtual networkers. So here's the slide, Miss Rachel. Take it away. Do my Oka Aussie or my fancy Aussie? Oh, whatever. Um, so we've had an amazing, amazing response to the bonuses this time. So thank you to everyone who has donated a prize. So if you sign up before Friday to any of our chapters, 
These are all of the bonuses. So if you use the code virtual20, you'll get 20% off your annual investment. A 30 minute EFT tapping session with Nancy. A 30 minute consult with the 30 second introduction review with Laura Templeton. A 30 minute financial coaching session with the fabulous Connie Jo. She may or may not wear a fancy dress. A 45 minute call with a macronutrient calculation from Mo. 45 minute quantum human design reading from Kristen. A 60 minute ULA coaching session from Kim. And a 60 minute coaching call, uh, Clarity via human design with Kate for Ness. And of course, the link is there. When you click on that link, you will see all four chapters. So you can choose which chapter suits your agenda um, and your time zone best. That's right. And uh, if someone could pop that in the um, chat box for me while I continue to talk. Um, I just wanted, before I, I finish up with the spiel, I just want to give a special thank you, first of all, to Connie Jo Miller, who coordinated all of our door prizes and, Rach and uh, raffle prizes, almost said Rachel prizes, raffle prizes. <laughs> Um, so thank you, Connie Jo, for an outstanding job, plus the lovely props, which make me laugh. But ladies who've, um, and I just want to point out, we have, this is all gifts. Those are $1,100 in signing bonuses, which is a, a record for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And what you see, the people that you see, you can see some people given more than one gift. And then we have people like Kim Stone, who just joined Virtual Networkers. Kim Stone, my heart to you. Um, thank you. That just, I think, really speaks to the power of our organization. So thank you to all ladies who, um, who have donated stuff today. So I'm just going back to the slide real quick. Um, so what happens if you decide to join Virtual Networkers between now and Friday? You would just go to virtualnetworkers.biz, um, pick out which chapter you want to join. There's a big, you know, join Jill's chapter or whatever. You just click that link. Make sure you put virtual20 in the promo code box. That will reduce your annual uh, investment about $40 ish. And then um, once you process your payment, I get notification and then, then I send that notification to Connie Jo and she'll be in touch with you regarding all of these signing bonuses. So I just wanted to let you know how that process works. And then uh, you will coordinate with those respective people to take advantage of all of those lovely gifts. And I hope that you do because these are some fabulous things on here, as you can see. So I'm going to stop the share and open the floor up for any questions. Um, I just saw, just to clarify, the annual membership is $199, and you do get a 20% discount before Friday, right? So if you join before Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern, you use virtual20 as the promo code. It'll reduce this year's annual investment to one to like $154, $154 or something like that. So thank no, you. I have two more door prizes, too. Yes. Okay, thank you for that reminder. I wasn't even looking at the agenda I made. Why don't you go ahead and do those, Connie Jo? Okay, these are big ones. <laughs> so, the first one is a call with Stacy Rowan, uh, Stress Relief by Design. She's offering ideas for relieving stress based on your human design. And that goes to Susan. Susan no. Copley. Yeehaw. And last but not least, from our very own Rachel Taylor. She's giving a priceless 30 minute website audit. And that is going to Olivia. Ooh. Yeah. So congratulations to all our winners. Congratulations, you're all winners in our eyes, but we are so glad that we had uh, all these raffle prizes. And thank you, Connie Jo, for the, again, for the, prop, the props are amazing. Um, and also I want to mention one more thing about our organization. We are really, uh, we're a professional organization, but we get life. And um, for example, Leah had Nicholas with her on her on our call today. Nicholas is welcome at any meeting. I mean, we've had uh, people with their kids. You saw Perdita talking to her daughter earlier. Um, I have, I'm in the house with five other, four other people. Um, I have a basset hound. I have cats. Mr. Wu has joined my meeting numerous times. Bunker, the cat. Mary Beth has one of her kittens there or one of her doggies with us. Um, we get it. This is not like it, 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 it. We get it. We get it. So if you're worried about working from home or maybe your husband's loud, um, join anyway. Don't worry about that because we all, all understand and, and get that. So 
Uh, any questions from our guests uh, or anything that we can help each other with? Um, I know people have been putting things in the chat box, so if I missed anything, just unmute yourself. Anything? We good? Mo Cooper, because you are one of our highest energy people. Me? <laughs> Give us some final words before we close out. Final words. I try to scale it back because I get very excited about this, but let me tell you, thanks to Kate Barnes inviting me here in the first place. And I got in on the awesome deal too. I'm like, what? 159? I'm in. Um, I have made so many meaningful connections in this group. I'm looking, and even in this call, like <laughs> I reached out to two people. And so <laughs> this to me is a no brainer. We are all women. We're on the same mission. We all have the same love of life and whatever every area of expertise that we have. I've had received nothing but encouragement, um, kindness, and yeah, and, and the gentle, um, get, give your head a shake when it's needed. And it's awesome because that's what we need. We're here to support one another. It's a very, very strong, powerful women's group. And I just feel so incredibly blessed to be part of this space and this energy with so many amazing dynamic women. So thank you very much. How was that, Jill? You did awesome, and I didn't even we didn't even prepare you. Thank you so much, Laura. Finish this off, my friend. Well, thank you so much for being here. It has been a pleasure meeting each and every one of you. I hope that, as Purdy said, that if you're on the fence, you get off it and onto the virtual networker side. Um, we are looking forward to having all of you join us and um, thrive and grow together and just get to know you, each and every one of you, and um, looking forward to spending more time together. So thank you all for being here. It's been a pleasure hosting this event. And I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday Yay! or Friday or Monday or Tuesday. Oh, <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.